Hi, I'm David, uh, and I'm going to show you uh, a new way to install Julia on Windows. Uh, in particular, how you can install Julia from the Windows Store. Uh, and then I will show you a whole bunch of uh, other features that are part of this Windows Store experience. Uh, in particular, um, a new tool called Julia Up that is a Julia version multiplexer. So, so let's just get started right away. I will just demo uh, uh, what we have. So. Here, we're on a clean system, and I'm, I have a shell open here, and you can see that when I try to start Julia, it's not installed, so uh, this is a system without Julia. So what do I do now? Very simple, I start the Windows Store, the official one. I uh, search for uh, Julia in the Windows Store. First uh, hit here is uh, Julia, I click on that, um, and here I can select uh, Install for Julia. And then we have to wait a little bit until it's all downloaded and installed. And the install uh, finished. Uh, and we can right away launch Julia by clicking uh, this launch button here. We install Julia version 1.6.1. And that is really the primary functionality. You go to the store, you search for Julia, you click install, and it installs it. Now, when you install Julia use from the Windows Store, um, then it actually uh, adds three entry points to Julia to your system. So the first one is the standard one uh, in the start menu. There's now an item for Julia here. If you click that, it opens a new window uh, with Julia. So that is sort of standard. Um, it also puts, makes Ju just the command Julia available on the shell or any other place where you want to start it. And remember, I had opened this terminal windows here before I installed Julia, and I never closed it. I kept it open uh, the whole time. Um, and now that we've installed Julia, I can actually start Julia here by just typing Julia, uh, and it will start Julia here. So that's the second way uh, that you can start Julia now. It's just uh, present uh, on the path. Uh, and the third one is that we also integrate into Windows Terminal. Um, so if we open Windows Terminal here, and we click the little button down here, then uh, we've now added a profile for Julia automatically that will start Julia in a new tab. All right, so that is how you install Julia with this system and how it is then available via three different entry points. What I'm going to show you next um, is what happens when a new Julia version uh, is released. And I'm going to uh, do some magic to my system here. I'm going to reconfigure it offline for a second so that we are on Julia 1.6.0, and then we're going to pretend that Julia 1.6.1 was just released, and we'll see what the user experience is at that point. So uh, I'm here in my uh, shell, I'm starting Julia, uh, and note now that we are getting a message that we are no longer on the latest uh, Julia version. So it says the latest version of Julia, and the release channel is 1.6.1. We are currently on 1.6.0. To update, run the command Julia up update, and that uh, should take care of that. So let's try that. I'm, I'm going to exit Julia here. I'm going to say Julia up update, uh, and it will install Julia 1.6.1 for me on my system here. All right, so we successfully installed Julia 1.6.1. If I now start Julia, uh, we are on Julia 1.6.1, the latest currently released version. So I think these two experiences is probably the, what the vast majority of users will interact with. So you have a very easy and simple way to install Julia on your Windows system, um, and then it's uh, on the path, it's in your Windows terminal, it's in the start menu, and then whenever a new version of Julia is released, you will automatically get a prompt um, telling you that it exists and uh, with instructions uh, on how you can very easily update your system to the latest uh, Julia version. So that's the first part of this talk, um, but uh, there's actually much more uh, uh, in, this, in this solution. Uh, and you've got a glimpse already, there's a tool called Julia Up um, that ships with this distribution from the Windows Store, and it is a full-fledged uh, version uh, multiplexer or version manager in the spirit of Rust Up, um, and I'm going to show you that next. Um, so the way to start this is you can just go to a shell and you can start Julia Up, uh, and that's a command line utility. And here it shows you all the commands that are available to you. Um, and uh, the first one that we're going to try is we're going to say Julia up 
add, and then we're going to add a specific ver version. So let's say we want to add version 1.54 uh, and install that version on our system. So now it is installing Julia 1.54 uh, for us. So that's installed. And now I have two Julia versions installed. If I want to get an overview of um, what is on my system right now, I can run Julia up status, and it will list all the versions uh, of Julia that are currently installed. And you can see here actually that we have one thing that's called release installed and one thing that's called 1.5.4 installed. So release is a shortcut name uh, or a channel name um, that always points to the latest Julia stable version. Uh, and 1.5.4, of course, is a specific uh, version that we've installed. So those are the two that we have right now available. So how can I start uh, Julia 1.5.4? Uh, I can start Julia, and then as the first argument to, to Julia, I need to pass the name of the version that I want to start with a plus in front of it. So if I say Julia plus 1.5.4, then it will actually start Julia 1.54. Going out of that again, if I just start Julia without anything, it will go to Julia 1.6.1 because that's our default. The types of names that I can use here is pretty large. So I can also say something like Julia up add 1.3. Well, 1.3 is not a specific version. It's just a combination of major and minor version. And that means I want the latest uh, patch uh, version in the 1.3 series. So in this case, that's Julia 1.3.1, and that's what it's going to install right now. You can see that we have the release channel installed, the 1.5.4 version installed, and the 1.3 channel installed. And now I can say Julia plus 1.3 to start the Julia version that is uh, corresponding to the 1.3 channel here. I can also change the default. Um, what happens if I just type in Julia without a specific version selector? Uh, and I do that by saying Julia up, default 1.3, for example. Now I've configured 1.3 as my default version. If I just type Julia in, I'm now starting Julia 1.3.1 because that's the latest version in the 1.3 channel. We have a lot of specific channels, uh, additional channels available here. So I can say Julia up add beta, for example, and that will install the latest available beta version um, if there is one uh, on my system. So here it's installing Julia 1.7 uh, the beta 2 uh, build that is currently the latest available uh, beta. I can easily start that now. I can say Julia plus beta and it will start the beta build uh, of Julia that I just installed. I hope this is useful. Um, do let me know how it goes. Uh, there is a, a GitHub repository for this uh, where you can leave feedback. I'm, I'm putting the URL of that. Uh, you can see the URL of that right now. Uh, and, I, and, and I hope you uh, might decide to help or, or give feedback uh, for this effort.